In May, Greens MP Kate Fairman will introduce a rights of the terminally ill bill into the New South Wales Parliament. The bill would allow people like Laura Dana Alessio Mulhall, a central figure in Kate's campaign, the right to choose when she dies. But our law is actually insane. We're doing everything we can to keep people alive at the end of their at the end of their lives, or people we're keeping people alive who would not ordinarily be alive if it wasn't for such extraordinary assistance. A strong supporter of the bill is Richard Mills, president of Dying with Dignity New South Wales. This is not a question of public policy like the invasion of Iraq. This is a matter of personal choice and autonomy. Like Richard. Between 80 to 85% of Australians would support a change in the law. But do you think that a terminally ill person should have the right to choose to die? Yes, I do. And, Absolutely. And, and why do you think that? Because I guess it's their right to make that decision about their own life. I believe that they should have the choice uh, to choose what they want to do. I think as a community we should support that, but it obviously needs careful um, barriers, uh, limitations, you know, it has to be a really a, a, a well-supported but free choice. Proponents argue that the opposition to the bill is largely influenced by the church. However, Greg Donnelly believes the debate is more complex than a simple question of faith. I'm unapologetically a Catholic and a yep. practising Catholic. Um, and, you know, with my faith, I, I have a strong belief about the, um, the dignity of human life. We are in a first world country with a first world medical system and if we um, put appropriate resources into palliative care um, we would find that this debate around euthanasia, I wouldn't say completely will disappear, but in fact will in fact uh, fall back. Supporters are confident the bill will pass the upper house, however any vote is expected to come down to the wire. Joshua Hewitt, Sydney.